all right. And he's been seeing people in Chicago and he's been in Los Angeles and everywhere. And he's just like done. And I, and I caught him and he goes, all right, all right, come on inside. We'll set the camera up. You're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn named Mario. But there's a company called Nintendo. And we're going to do a real-time animation system. It's never been done before. We have no idea if it's going to work or not. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to pay you to drink coffee all day. So come on in. Make up a voice. Make up a video. Make up anything you want. I don't care. Just, you know, keep going. You don't stop till you run out of things to say. That'll be your audition. And I'm thinking to myself, self, Italian plumber from Brooklyn. Get out of my face. I'm waiting here. And then the guy like that, get out of here. I'm not that busy here. And I, no, I don't want to do that because what if there are children in the audience? I don't know anything about what we're doing. But I've always had this principle of being fun. Life is fun. So I thought I'd play, play Grammy with the show. I thought, ah, oh, let's see that little guy. Oh, good, I can eat. And uh, I can do that, quite I'm making younger. And then I'll just talk about the. I know nothing about video games except wacka, 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 wacka. <laughs> And those, remember those games that like Asteroids was the one that I played, where you shoot and you go, <laughs> and you get a little missile goes, and you can't shoot again until it goes to the end, you know. And I was never a good shot at that. And I go, and then you're pushing the button, ah, 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 you know, and of course I was, and then well, the, the worst one was that one, eh, 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 where was I? Oh yes, I was in San Francisco for the beach, and I, so, so I, you know, I thought I'll just make up his voice, I'll just be fun, and I'll just have, and I'll make up things about who, and I hear Ash, and I go, hello, I'm a Mario, let's make a pizza right together, you go get some sausage, I get some spaghetti, he puts it in the sausage in the pizza, and then I change the pizza, and if I catch you the pizza, you can't eat the pizza. <laughs> And you're going to take the pizza and catch the pizza, then oh, I'm going to eat the pizza. And then we're going to make a lasagna. <laughs> and I just went through every single pasta until I was inventing them. Then we're going to make a rasta tutto rotello. It's a great pasta. <laughs> and I changed the rasta tutto rotello, and I was like, oh, God, don't forget what that was. And I just kept going and going and going. And I was having a great time. And I am also a fundamental brat. And when he says, don't stop, I'm going to see who can last longer. <laughs> I suddenly heard, stop talking, cut. There's no more tape. Thank you, we'll be in touch. And I thought, you know, that's the event, that, 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 that was the door, go in and let it slam in the back. So I went uh, back and visited my friend, went to the beach, saw the sunset, had dinner. He gets on the phone, he calls Nintendo, and goes, I found our Mario, I got him. And that was the only tape that was sent up there. So my lesson in life is, crash as many auditions as you can. <laughs> And follow directions. I have done neither since then, but I was, that's my lesson. <laughs> and for heaven's sake, have fun. Because it was just a spontaneous thing of like, I'm going to have fun. Everybody else did, you know, hey, my name's Mario, I'm a plumber from Brooklyn, and I'm going to fix your plumbing. How's that? And the second they broke character, that was the Rogers. And he had one thing he was looking for somebody who could talk all day and never shut up. <laughs> Pager. Imagine, <laughs> imagine a cell phone that's in permanent do not disturb mode. That just gives you a number of a missed call. <laughs> yeah, that's the concept. You know, doctors had pagers. So I thought, well, I'm an actor. I could act like a doctor. I thought it'd be the coolest thing to be the state of the art technology. So I could do what actors do and go lie on the beach, go play golf, hang out, you know, sleep all day. And then something would go, <laughs> which was too irritating. So I got the high grade model. It wasn't the size like a phone book. It was like only that big. Flip to your thing, and it went. <laughs> that was in the stir mode. Then only you can hear from 30 meters. <laughs> I love the most pleasant voice. Oh, my dear, how did you come on board to this role? Um, okay, so how many of you guys are introverts? Introverts! Oh. Thank you, friends! My people! <laughs> so I'm very different from Charles. Very quiet and shy and always was when I was little. And when I, but I loved doing voices. So to myself, I would do voices. And um, I started in radio because I thought it was cool to have no one look at you when you're doing the voices. And, um, and that led to commercials and then that led finally to an audition that I had no idea what it was. I just showed up. Um, 
I didn't crash it because Mr. Shine crashed it. But I but I I went and almost didn't go, almost wanted to turn around because it seemed scary. Um, and, and they said, Can you do this voice? And it was voice of Toad. Next 
little adventure that's going on. So. Yeah, you're in the trenches of that. You're yeah, yeah. I moved. I moved from Washington State to the Dallas area because that's where Funimation was. So. And it, that kind of worked out because now they want to use people that are local. So <laughs> I already moved. Uh, so that, I think that's it. Right. Um, thank you. So I don't really think about it much. 
in. But uh, I have seen some stuff on YouTube where people have, have overdubbed it with my stuff. <laughs> I thought it sounded pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, it's no big deal. It, just Bowser. <laughs> I still got the rest of the game. How would Bowser cry if he was crying? <laughs> Sunshine, Charles, like everyone else got to fully talk, but you were just limited to your usual woohoo! And why did you never well, like, say, Welcome to the Isle Delfino? <laughs> you know, I always trust the, the creative teams of Nintendo. They know what they're doing. If, if Mario started talking, oh, look at this Isle Delfino, it's going to be really interesting to be here. And they, it stops the process of the game. Also, logistically, if I do that, you have to translate that into Spanish, French, Italian. You know, <laughs> I, I, I have done jobs where uh, you know I would do that phonetically in 40 different languages, but it's very expensive and very time-consuming. So it's a streamlined way to keep the action going and to save money and millions. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you. Without pain and suffering. 
and I don't know if you should buy that. And then you go, yippee! <laughs> and that's creative. So I create from love and joy and happiness with always the aim that it brings something of, of light to people's lives. And I think being willing to be foolish allows you to do all kinds of sounds and motions and even brave things in life that you might not think you could do. But if you're willing to be foolish, you can win. And so I think that's how you find new voices. And having fun. Having fun! Hey, that's what it's best for do. We go in there, it's like, come into the sandbox and play the absolute new toys. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best advice I've heard all day. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I started doing anime, um, I've now described it as the Forrest Gump box of chocolates of voice acting. <laughs> because I never know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> and I go in there, and, I, and seriously, I don't know. I probably may have never even heard the show. And I go in, and the next thing I know, I'm a giant boar, you know, or I'm Miyagi the goat, you know. So I, I have to come up with things on the fly. However, I do have a little bit of a hint by listening to the Japanese version. I try to at least give partial tone recognition and the attitude, uh, but, but with an English script. But uh, yeah, I mean, snorting as a giant pig guy. I was the mountain god in uh, One Piece. You know, and, and it was a lot of, they were like, he's just really mad. Now he's breathing hard. I go, do you want it really snorty? You know? They're like, yeah, so I'm all like.
love her, and so she's my friend, and so she would be my girl. Oh, you have so many friends. Yeah, everyone's your friends. Fair enough, gosh, you know, I, you know, I just, I'm Luigi. Oh.
But uh, I, I, it's the same thing, I wouldn't have a clue. I mean, I got the job by growling, and so I'm sure somebody else could, you know. But I did start off, you know, a little different. Over the 18 years or so, it's, it's morphed a bit. You know, I went from going, to, yeah, I don't know how it works, it just does. But, so no, I don't have a clue. Great question, thank you for sending that. Thank you.